So to launch the software, uh, first let's find it. And the best way to do that is hold down your command bar and space. And you'll get this little spotlight search here. And the software is called Sweet Home, spelled S-W-E-E-T. And uh, the software is Sweet Home 3D. So I hit my command space bar, and in my spotlight search, did this Sweet Home 3D. And since we'll be using this for a few days, if you want, you can pin it to your um, task, whatever they call this bar here, your dock. Um, so you go keep in dock. And that'll keep it there for you. So this is the uh, interface here. Uh, our computers have, if I go to my info here, uh, 3.5. If you go to use the software at home, they've uh, released version 4, um, which didn't look too different to me, but supposedly had some newer features. So uh, we're going to build a house. So we start by adding walls using the add wall tool. So uh, right here on our toolbar, we have this picture of a wall with a plus sign. So I'm just going to click right on that. And since this is the first time we're running this, it's uh, letting you, giving you some simple instructions on how to add walls. And we have our rulers here um, on our grid. So right now I'm got about 42 feet by 24 feet, which would make a huge house. Um, but I'm just going to start by making a nice kind of 12 by 12 room here. So, and you'll notice as I draw in the top box here, it's actually showing me our 3D um, in the bottom, which is pretty cool. And then as I move my cursor uh, to the end here, once this wall goes, um, kind of highlights with that other bluish color, it's letting me know that it's going to close my room. So it's now sort of snapped to that point. And then when I'm done drawing my wall there, I'm just going to hit Escape. And I'm still in my Add Wall tool, so I'm going to add another room underneath it. And uh, maybe I'll add a uh, kind of a long bathroom right here. And uh, let's see, how about a uh, another, uh, I'll put a bedroom here. Nice big bedroom. And then a, uh, this will be a uh, garage. That. All right, and I've realized this is way too small for a garage, but we'll run with it. Okay, so these are my walls. Now we want to actually turn these into rooms, and we do that by just to the right of our add wall tool is this uh, create room tool. Uh, and the easiest way to do this is just double click in any enclosed area here. So just by double clicking, it's going to add. Um, my room here is letting me know that this room is 140 square feet. I'm just going to continue this with all my rooms here. Okay, and for some reason, uh, so I, I'm trying to add my room to this and it's not working, and I see here that I have a... My wall here wasn't quite closed, so I'm going to use my little arrow tool here, and I can click and modify my wall. Looks good. And I'm tired of seeing that. There we go. And then uh, by holding down, this is on Windows, it's going to be different, but on Mac, you hold down your command and then use your mouse wheel, and I can zoom in and out easily. So we now have walls and floors. Uh, we're going to start adding. Um, 
uh, doors and windows, the next thing to add. So you'll notice uh, in our window pane over here, we have doors and windows. I'm going to click my arrow here to expand that. And here we have all kinds of doors and windows. So I'm going to start with a regular door, and this will be my front door right here. So, and then uh, for my hallway, I'm just going to have a door frame. I'm actually going to have a door in my hallway. It's going to be an opening. And then I'm going to put just another opening here. Um, so this will be like you'll kind of walk into the living room. I guess I'll have this be my kitchen. And uh, I want to have just an open space in between. So I'm going to take my doorway and I'm going to make it larger. So I'm going to move it over to one side like so. And then um, let's see if I can zoom in here on my shape. And then uh, just by holding down my space bar, that's bringing my pan tool. So looking at my door here, every corner does something different. Uh, so this icon here, the up and down, you'll notice my door. I can actually make my, make my door, if you look at my 3D image, now it's like a little doggy door. <laughs> and then if I'm a particularly tall person, I can make larger doors like so. I'm at my door right about there. Uh, this uh, is for rotate this corner. Uh, this is to raise your object up or down. So obviously a door uh, is going to go all the way to the floor. But if this were a lamp or something that I wanted to put on top of a table, I could raise the object. And then uh, this is to scale it, um, which uh, is what I'm going to want to do. So I'm going to take my door. Let's go out again a little bit. I'm going to take this opening here, I'm going to put it all the way at one end, and then I'm going to grab the upper left corner here, and I'm just going to take this and drag it. And you can see I'm now stretching my door all the way across. So now I have this kind of cool opening here between my living room and my kitchen. Uh, all right, now I'll put in some other doors. Uh, let's see, I'll put a door here in the garage, um, and then here's a open door, that's kind of cool too, I'll put an open door. So you can see here to my bedroom here, just put a door with it open. Uh, this area here is just going to be a closet, so I'm going to kind of make that a closet. And uh, then my garage, and I'll need a garage door, so I'm going to put that there, even though there's not quite enough room to put a car. Uh, all right, now next thing we'll, yeah, there you go. Hey, two, two smart cars. It's a, a six-car garage. Uh, all right, so now we're going to add some windows. So I'm just going to start with a double French window here. I'll have these open outwards. Cool looking. I like windows. And then uh, how about, uh, let's see, and I'll put a couple fixed windows. So this is going to be my kitchen area. So let's have some windows that are going to go above the kitchen. And then uh, for my living room, I'll have kind of a fancy window at the entry. And then for my bedroom here, put a couple of fancy windows here too. Um, oh, you notice I did have these to where they open inward, but by positioning them on the wall, I can control whether they open inward or outward. So if I do want these to go outward, I can do that. Um, and then, uh, let's see, I'll have a bed there, so I'll have a uh, couple uh, small windows here that'll go above the bed. Uh, 
and then uh, we'll put a small window in the bathroom too. All right, now I'll start uh, putting some stuff in my kitchen. So I'll start with, uh, always nice to have a sink. I'm going all out here. So I'm going to put my sink. Uh, and then next to my sink, how about a dishwasher? And then in the corner, I'll try and squeeze in just a, uh, a cabinet. And uh, uh, didn't plan this very well, but I guess I'll put my freezer right here. Um, actually, I'm going to get rid of this one, though, because it's just not going to work. I right, can have room for my refrigerator. And in my living room, I'm going to throw in a couple chairs and a uh, TV. Got a TV here. So when I look at my 3D view here, Um, so I have my living room here, and um, my chairs aren't um, facing my my TV. I'm trying to get a good view on this here. Uh, why can't I pan? Get rid of that junk email. Um, Okay, so I want to rotate my chairs. So again, as I mentioned before, every corner that we grab does something different. So you'll notice this one, I put my mouse on it and I can rotate. So sure enough, I can just click on my chair and rotate it so they're both facing my TV. And uh, then the uh, last thing I'll do, um, that I'll show you for today is to add um, flooring. So what I'm going to do is um, double click on, you can double click on any object, but I'm just going to double click on my floor here. And it's displaying my floor. And what I'm going to do is choose a texture. And then by clicking on this, it's giving me a whole list of different textures. So you notice it starts with floor, but I also have a couple others, sky, and then different walls. So for my living room, um, uh, uh, I'll go with uh, these dark blue tiles. And uh, I like it shiny. And uh, for my ceiling, I'm just gonna have a like a beige ceiling. And then my kitchen, uh, I'll go with a tile in there as well, shiny, and uh, same beige. Tiles here for the uh, ceiling. So there you go. You just kind of keep uh, keep uh, building your house that way, and then if um, when it comes time to render.
inside my house here. Um, uh, virtual visit. There we go. So here I am inside my house. Here's my kitchen so far. So if I wanted to see how my kitchen is coming along here. Um, there's this little picture of a camera here. So this is the equivalent of the render command in CAD. I'm just going to do a close to best rendering here. And um, I'll go four by three. So I'll take this and then does a much faster render than CAD kind of shows me what my kitchen is looking like so far. So again in CAD, you know, just this simple uh, render would have taken days to do. So the software is not very detailed, but will allow you to kind of quickly render some pretty cool stuff um, and is perfect for things like designing um, you know, doing layouts and stuff. Uh, so looking at my kitchen, one thing I notice is my windows. Uh, I don't like how they're that close to my counters. So if I want to raise them, again, one of the corners here is the lift. So you can see I clicked on my window and now I can actually raise it up and down on the wall. So I'm going to take, uh, it's a little high. So I'll take both my windows and just raise them wall there. And then uh, I'm noticing that uh, these objects aren't touching. So I'll slip out. The other one will be fine. <laughs> there we go. And we have my fridge here. Um, and I think I'll Spec this out for a custom fridge that's a little larger in size. There you go. That's exactly what an architect would do. Uh, and then I can also take my walls and make them different colors as well. So double click. Uh, and I don't know why it does left side and right side because there is no left and right on this wall. I wish it did inside or outside, but doesn't so um, I'm gonna go with uh, just try a stone wall I'll just set them both to stone here <coughs> probably look better outside but might be a cool cool look I'll render that see how that looks Kind of a cool look. And then lastly, um, outside my windows, I'm noticing that uh, it's looking a bit boring. So we can go to, uh, where is it here? Uh, modify 3D view. There we go. Uh, show where that is again. So we go to 3D view and then modify 3D view and then we have our ground and sky so for ground I'm going to choose grass and then for sky I'm going to choose <laughs> yes I'll do a uh, very cloudy yeah here we'll just do cloudy sky that's pretty so click OK here and voila look at that well <laughs> And then, uh, last thing my kitchen needs, uh, oh, so, and then we can also add lights, which is pretty cool. So um, if we 
want to say put a desk lamp on top of my cabinet there. So right on top of my cabinet I put this little desk lamp and lamps, any kind of lighting, which you can have ceiling lights, wall lights, there's all kind of cool lights you can add. Uh, you'll notice one of the corners here has this little, looks like a little cellular signal. That's how bright your lamp is. So you can adjust exactly how light or dark your uh, lamp is. So kind of dimly lit lamp. Uh, and then these wall lights are kind of cool too. Um, so right in between my window here, I'm putting a wall light. That looks kind of cool. render this. So when you have a light that's on full power, it's really bright. So I'm, first thing I want to do is I'm, uh, I'm noticing that the wall light I put on, you know, it's more decorative lighting than actually be functional light. So I probably dim that way back. And even my desk lamp, which I think I was at 40% power, is pretty, pretty bright. Um, but that's my kitchen so far, looking pretty good. So play around, um, there's, uh, I want everything in your house, uh, you know, you need to have at least one bedroom, kitchen, living room, uh, you need to be able to walk from room to room, so have what? doors and things in place, uh, <laughs> bathroom, um, and have fun, get creative. Uh, think about scale, so, you know, we measured this classroom, the classroom was, what, 25 feet by 25 feet, so, you know, if this were a bedroom, it would be a giant bedroom. Uh, every year I have a student that either makes a, an entire house that's 10 by 10, uh, or they make it like a thousand feet by a thousand feet, and they put in a, you know, a chair and a fireplace in this room that's like the size of a stadium. Um, so, you know, think about proper scale and how much space you really need, and, you know, I don't want to have to climb over the bathtub to get to the toilet. <laughs> Bathroom Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> it's an emergency. It's to be. So you'll be able to run faster. Okay, any questions on Sweet Home?